in the last video is uh, how to create a single app using Android Studio. Now let us continue with the same app. Now we are going to explore the things which are available here. So here we have a Java folder which contains our activity which is a .java file. Now there is a folder below to that, below to the Java that is resource which is called R. Yes, and it has so many folders. The first one is Drawable, second one Leo, third one Micmac, and the fourth one Vibes. We are going to see what about the Drawable. Suppose your Android app want to use some pictures. So what we have to do is we can uh, copy some pictures and put it inside of this Drawable folder. I will show you how to copy such picture and put it in the Drawable folder. So uh, I am going to uh, downloads and here I have a small picture. Uh, let me take a small picture. I am copying this picture, copy it. And just right click on the travel folder and you can paste. So while pasting you can mention what is it. I'm going to say it is a pyramid. Whereas you can go with that name. Click OK and you can see that the picture is there. So if you want to use some picture for your Android app, you can put the picture in the travel folder. Otherwise, no need to use it. Now there is something called layout. Now we are going to explore about what is this layout folder and what is the purpose of it. Now I am going to open in the layout folder and now you can see an XML file named activity underscore welcome dot XML. This is that file. Hope that you may remember in the initial stage in the initial stage of the project creation, we mentioned the welcome activity. So below to that there is an activity layout uh, file. So it's named activity underscore welcome. So this is that file. So what is the file about? We are going to open the file. Now I double click the file. Now it is getting opened. So now the file is open. You can see that. Let me those other things yeah. so this is that XML file but this is the design mode of the XML file you can see here two tabs one is design and another one is text if you click the text you can see the XML code I am going to do double tap over here and you can see the full XML code and if you want to see the preview of this XML code you may click preview here so this is your source text mode and if you click the design you can see it will be open in the design mode and you can see very clearly that there is some text inside so I am going to zoom it you can see that there is something called a hello world that is why when we run this application we are getting an output like this hello world so if you want to remove it what you do is just select and press delete button Otherwise, we look okay before deleting that. We we'll look into the text mode. What are the components inside? So let me close the TV now. So here, the first one it is about the what is XML version and the encoding. And here you can see the main tab, XML tab, relative layout. So it says that here we can place the components. Place the components in the screen in the relative layout format. So, what is the meaning of relative layout? Now we have a component here. Next time, when we try to add some component, we can say that whether to its right or to the left of hello world or to the right to uh, hello world or below to the hello world, something like that. So, relative to one component's position, that is called it is. Uh, relative layout. We have different other uh, layouts also. For example, flow layout is there. 
So now, right now, we are not going to explore much into this layout format. And followed by here, we have some namespace. So don't change the namespace because here we have some properties and all these are defined in this layout. So don't try to edit this layout. And below to that, we have something inside the related layout, we have something called a text view. Now, let me take and you can see now I am going to select this hello world you might have noticed this part got highlighted uh, text views the text view is not uh, highlighted I am going to select the hello world now this part is reflected you can see so it shows that this is a text view and it says what is the layout width it is wrap content that is based on the size of the text and what is the layout height it says that wrap content and it again it talks about what is the height of that this one now so this is about the layout and uh, how do you add more code in this layout later we will see so it is about the layout and this layout is only displayed in this emulator or in the virtual device. So how this layout is inflated here or how this layout is loaded here and everything we will discuss when we are discussing about the welcome activity to Java file. So hope that you understood what is the purpose of layout which contains what is the layout contains some XML file which shows what layout should be loaded in the in your activity. If it is a uh, login page means suppose you want a login activity, then you need an XML file which contains username, password, and login button. Now followed by that we have a uh, folder called mipmap. So mipmap it is coming in the computer graphics. It says that it is an optimized sequence of images that is a lower resolution, the first one, the next one little more higher resolution, the third one little more higher resolution. So like that we have a sequence of images. You can see that there are five images. The first one it says that high density, here high dots per inch, DPI stands for dots per inch. The dots per inch is called density. This is for high screen density mobile. This is medium density, extra high density, extra extra high density, extra 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 high density. Now I am going to open the first one. You will understand. You can see that this is that uh, picture. Its size is 3.42 k. The second one, 2.21, you can see that this is medium one. The first one is, is it is about 3.42k. The second one, the size is reduced. Now we are going to see extra high density. The size is very high comparing with the previous two. This one, more than that. The last one, the biggest size. So what is the need of this and what it is talking about? Uh, here you can see the launching icon. What is the launching icon here? Does it look same here? So this image will be loaded as a launcher icon in your mobile. It may be a virtual device or a physical device and which one should be selected? It depends on the screen density of the mobile. If the screen density is very high, very high resolution, then the uh, the appropriate density image will be that is for example uh, say that it is the uh, highest screen density model then it will be taking extra 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 high density launcher icon that particular icon that particular picture will be assigned for this or it will be retrieved for showing it as a launcher icon that is the only one purpose based on the screen density the picture will be selected Later I will show you how to have a customized picture here 
rather than this default one otherwise whenever you create the uh, mobile application you will be getting the same launch right but later i will show you how to go for different launch right for example for the for the phone application you can see the receiver alone for the search you can see something like a lens for the gallery something like a picture so how will you create all these things we will see later and the next about the values and here you have so many xml files so you can see for example i am going to open colors.xml so we can use this colors different colors you can see this is very uh, little blue this is little more dark blue this is something like a pink so all these values we can extract from here later i will show you like that string.xml styles.xml we have different xml so all these value extractions are coming in the folder called values now followed by that we have something called the gradle scripts so open it here and you can see go for the module colon app so what is this module the moment you create the uh, project in android studio by default a uh, module will be created in the name app this is the default module which is created by the android studio when you create a project if you want we can add extra modules also for that I have to go to file new new module then you have to say that which one you want so we are not going to explore into that area so right now we have only one module it's a default name is app for that we have the gradle so we are going to open this file what does it consist of you can see that uh, several properties inside the first one is it is about the compile sdk version automatically your studio picks up the highest compiler which is available here here i have 241 i will show you what is the 241 for that let us see the sdk manager here you can see the ap the highest version which is available is 24 so automatically it will be taken so your program will be compiled against which compiler version the highest it will be taken then and here we mentioned that minimum sdk is 80 and the target one is 24 so that it can work in uh, for example marshmallow kitkat uh, lollipop like that and that so highest to lowest you can see here fine now in the next video i will show you how to change this launching icon thank you for watching this video